Ay. Ah. Hello everybody, this is Sandy from Sandy's Food and Travel. How are you? How are you? Today, this morning, we are cooking some beef curry. I'm so excited for this because I've been waiting for eating some of this curry for a long time. I've been waiting over a month and a half or so to eat this nice beef curry. I'm about to cook on the fireside in the front yard. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if this is your first time, um, don't forget to hit the like and share button or, or subscribe and hit the bell icon for updated videos, okay? Thank you so much for being here. Let's go and let's start. I put this on. I have some oil in there already. And these are the ingredients I'm using. Over here, this is the um, this is the beef, and this is bone-in beef, and it's already seasoned with um, some amazing garden seasoning that I roasted. Um, all my seasoning that I roast on the fire and blend up together is already seasoned in here for the last hour. We have some amazing masala, jeera, curry powder, some cinnamon, starcy, and cardamom pod. And over here we have garlic, onion, celery, shadow benny, pepper, and some scallions. And these are some big scallions from my friend Amelia from her garden. So while that's heating up, let's um, put some onions in there to start sauteing. Such a beautiful day here in the front yard. music in the background to give me some energy you know some nice old chew all right while that's cooking up let's go get some um, curry leaves I don't know if you can see me, but right now in front here, I have a lot of bush I need to cut down. They're not bush really. It's all my bananas and all my broad leaf thyme and curry leaves are all grown up. So I got some curry leaves. Check it out. Check it out. Some fresh curry leaves. These are washed. One of these curry leaves in here for now. And what I'm gonna put in here now to cook up is the is these little extra spices that I'm using in here. Cinnamon. Hey, I don't know if you can see Tommy, can you right there? That's what I'm gonna be putting in this here now. Look. Mm. Everybody say hello to mommy. Hello. Mommy boss and dance now. Nah? Boss to move. Boss up. <laughs> we're, we're the dancing cooks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And now I'm going to put in mas the jeera masala and some curry powder. Oh, and mommy will go get some turmeric. I'll cook up that together. Mommy, bring some water to please. Oh, I have it. Never mind. So I'm gonna let this cook up. I like when the masala cook up a little bit before I put the rest of things. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm also gonna put the garlic and the pepper to cook up with the masala. 
check out this recipe guys this is a simple amazing beef curry recipe or curry beef okay so check out this amazing recipe i'll, I'll put it in the description below and again if this is your first time thank you so much for being here and leave a comment leave a comment so i could stew that up together I'm putting a little bit of water in here to cook up the masala. Just a little bit before we put our seasoned um, beef in there. Mm -mm. Did it? Such. Guys, I cut up this beef all small pieces and I seasoned it so so yummy so yummy um, I'm putting a video together right now how I put the seasoning together and how I smoked it so you can cook it inside your house and you can get the fireside taste so this is the secret of all my food is I smoked and I all my seasoning including the pepper and everything before I cook with it I will show you a video guys Guys, check out this masala. You see all the oil is all on top. That means the masala and all these good spices is all bunged in nicely. And then, and then we'll put the meat now so that the meat can also bunge and bunjal in it. Check this out. So let's put our meat in here. <laughs> Third is up. Look how good that's looking. I wish you can be here and smell the aroma in this garden. Side now, yeah? I'm using some Himalaya salt for, for flavor, so I'll put a little bit of Himalaya salt in here. We are using rice with this. My mom already cooked some rice. And uh, what did you get there, mommy? Uh oh, uh oh. Nice song. So you have some potatoes to put in there? Yeah, yeah. not too much here. I put some salt, let's store in the salt, and then we we'll close it up and let it bungee. That just means for all the natural waters to burn out from the beef or from the meat, and then you can add um, extra water on, uh, for it to cook and become tender. And remember, you can use the same recipe. Guys, you can use the same recipe on any meats or any vegetables of your choice, okay? Same way. Let's cover this baby up and check out my fire. I love the fire. Nice coals going on there. When I'm done, I'll be roasting some more tomatoes. I'll put a little bit of shadow benny and a little bit of celery in here, celery in here for now. And then I have some for later. Also putting some of these scallions. Stir it up, check it out. Stir, stir, stir. I love it, I love it.
Everything is bubbling, bubbling nicely. Oh, you smell that smell, mommy? Ah, it smells so yummy. Mommy's there sitting down in the shade. Such a beautiful day here in South Florida. All right, guys, I'm here in my hammock, watching my food, waiting for, waiting to put the water in, waiting for it to bunge, and just enjoying this nice South Florida weather, guys. Really enjoying this. All right, so let's go check. Let's go check on it. Let's go check on it. looks so good the smell is delicious delicious look at it this oven this or this pot is a dutch oven pot so it's very thick it's like an oven you don't have to get too much fire and um, just look look at that i just have a little bit of fire a little bit of coals and look how hard it's cooking so let's turn this up Wow, look at a bone marrow right there. Look at that. Look at that. It's still bone jaying. The, the, um, the water from the meat is still cooking off before we put water. Say hello, Johnny. Hello, everybody. Came to check out on the mama. <laughs> One. Okay, so I'm um, I'm putting also some potatoes because Johnny and Tommy like potatoes in the beef curry or chicken curry. So I'm cutting them very big. Check it out. So let's we'll put these in here. Looking good. Oh, I'm in the way of the smoke, so I can smell all the curry. Yeah. I know I'll be adding water. Let me just cook this up actually. Let it. I'm gonna let the potato also cook up with this before I add water to it. See all that gravy and a nice sauce. Ooh, I'm excited, I'm excited. Ah! <laughs> and then done. Ah. Hey guys, so it's finished bonjaling we're about to put some water and i'm so excited to cook for you i'm so excited to cook this meal and thank you all thank you again for being part of sandy's uh, backyard food and travel so excited thank you all for leaving comments and i love when you tell me where you're from and i love when you share your stories and show, share recipes with me also if you like me to try one of your recipes please, please please let me know and please share your recipe let's check it out let me get uh, something to hold that because it's going to be hot. Ooh, smell it needs water. I can smell it. Um, a nice bungee. Look at that. So let's put in the water now. Thank you. Here, mommy, going to put in the water for me. Look at that. Look at this, my friend. I know a lot of you like this. this I know. Part. Yes. Uh -huh. I showed them that. I, it's right, so funny. Sure? I just showed them that. Yeah. Baron loves that. And Isha. I love it too. I love it. That's the, the bone mara and the bone, which is really good for you. You can just make soup and broth with the bones. Hello. How are you? I am fine. Morning, yes. morning. Say hello. When guys are picking up the all um, the yard yard um, debris. Have a great one. Have a great one. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Hey, next time, listen. Next time I'm done cooking, you stop. I'll give you some. It's not done yet. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. yeah have a good one. Yes, so I love these guys. I'm always giving them papayas and love the papayas because most of them are, are Jamaicans or guys from Haiti. So I'm always, the front there always full of fruit. This is the only time. It's not a papaya season right now. There are new papayas coming up. 
but I love to share my vegetables and love to share the seasoning here with these guys up already check it out check it out so I just put some fresh wood in there I'm using oak wood and so everything is cooking nicely let's check it out Ooh, boiling boiling who decide to join us out here relaxing all I need is a conch shell put it up in my ear and, and I'll be at the so beach hot. yeah the weather's so hot and I need this tree it is so cool we are hanging out right here in our front yard having the best moments of our lives making memories and spending me time you guys check this out ready we are checking the pot now and see how everything is looking and uh, we didn't really open the pot um, over and over because it just all the heat kind of escapes so let's check it out. Ooh, nice, right? Mm -hmm. Do I need more fire? That's good. No, no, I think this fire would go because um yeah because yeah you want to take your time and cook on the beer heat. yes yes you we are we are not rushing the process let me just you're taking a little taste mommy yeah i want to see how the, how the salt and something we really don't use much salt guys mm. yummy good eh? all right jenny good. your favorite will be done soon everything is finished we actually took out the potatoes because the meat needed to tenderize a little bit more so we took out the potatoes and it looks like the rain is coming so we finished in time our meals finished in time so let's check it out this is the final product um, that I'm putting in some shadow bennies and some shallot and so on now and we are cooking it with a little bit of gravy look at that look at that how good and tender this is looking check it out check it out see that so good. So I'm gonna add the potatoes back in there. And now I'm gonna just put a little bit of shadow benny, just a little bit to give it a nice flavor and also some shallot. And I'll let it sit there for another minute. And it's finished. And that's it, that's it. Uh, mommy's gonna get some rice now and we'll, it's time to eat. We're hungry. Let's go get a hot scotch bonnet. No, actually this is a hot habanero. We'll, the yellow habanero. So we'll be putting one in there. I didn't cook it very spicy because of Tommy and John and so on. So I put a little uh, 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 pepper in there so it can steam and we can, mommy and I can eat some more pepper on top. We're not big pepper eaters, but um, I really didn't put very much pepper in there. I don't cook with pepper seeds anymore, so we cook with an extra meat of the pepper. I only have a few uh, few peppers right now um, bearing and giving flowers, but this is one that's actually bearing. Check it out. Look at these guys here. We'll pick a little riper one. Look at these guys. And I have many coming up. But look how big and shiny and and hot these guys look. Look how hot. <laughs> Listen, I love these guys. I love these guys. I love to go in my garden and pick my own peppers and pick my own seasoning and stuff like that. It's the best part of cooking is going and get your your uh, fresh seasoning from the garden. Uh, so let's pick one of these guys. Oh, you noticed the peppers? Yes, yeah, I'll be there for a while, guys. Jenny, yeah. look, let's pick it. Let's throw this in that big pot of curry. Ooh, how to make it spicy. Get John and 
Hello everybody, just got back from the store. I, had to make some I gave it a little rinse and now in here to steam. Good, it looks. Johnny, you wanna come get some food? Bring your rice and come dip. Sure thing. Uh-huh. And I'll bring her a proper dipping spoon. So mommy's gonna start. She's going in the pot for us to take out for herself. Mommy's been waiting. Look at wow, that big pepper in there, mommy. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Take as much as you want. Mm -hmm. This is so Tommy. Tommy, you got to go. I go in a heat. Okay. Hello? Mommy's tasting. Mm. And I will be taking out some for me. Tastes good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Guys, look, I'm taking the big marabone. Look. That's my favorite piece. That's my favorite piece. Taking a piece of that pepper, one put. Oh, looks so delicious. Look how good that looks, guys. Look, mm -mm -mm. so yummy. Okay, this is my style of beef curry or my style of meat curry. And again, you can use any any um, meat of your choice. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for leaving a comment. I uh, enjoy this rep recipe and let me know if you have tried this. Again, hit the bell icon and the subscribe button to get updated videos. This is Sandy and family. This is Sandy from Sandy's Food and Travel. Thank you for being part of us. Thank you. So how's the finished product? Hey guys, hey, hey everyone. We just heard the, t the um, thunder, so the rain is coming, which I'm very happy for because the garden needs the rain. So, um, so I'm now tasting my food, but mommy's been eating. So tell me, how is it, mommy? It was good. It was good. I taste the shadabeni. Shadabeni? Yes, yeah, the shadabeni tastes on the food. Nice. I try to cook it a little bit more like with more shadow benny and so because mommy don't get to eat shadow benny much shadow benny many people are asking me what is like bandania or shadow bennies it's like a um a seasoning and um, that many people use in trinidad that i know about and also here in um in um the spanish community and it's it's calantro the other name that you may recognize here in the united states is calantro the other name that they call it here in Trinidad or in Trinidad is um, Shadow Benny and Bandania. And we, we tend to use those names uh, more. But it's Calantro for some of my Spanish friends or more my international friends. So I'm about to taste mine. Let's taste it. Mmm. Very tender. So tender. Ooh, mommy, taste those spices. I love it. I love it. Mm very flavorful very flavorful you have to try this um curry and again you can use any meat you want or any vegetables stay fantastic and see you in our next video